autism, also known as autism spectrum disorder, is a complex developmental condition characterized by challenges in social interaction, communication, and also repetitive patterns of behaviors, interests, and activities. However, there is incredible diversity in how autism is characterized across the autistic community, and recognizing this is essential in providing tailored support. This study, conducted by the GB2021 Autism Spectrum Collaborators, is timely as it's offering updated global estimates on the prevalence and health burden of, autism, um, of the autism spectrum, emphasizing where attention for action is needed most. Globally, we estimated one in every 127 individuals was autistic in 2021. We also estimated the difference in prevalence across the sexes was smaller than previously estimated. Now coming closer to a ratio of about 2.1 to one globally, uh, we're still with more autistic males and autistic females. ASD was ranked within the top 10 causes of non-fatal health burden for children and adolescents under the age of 20 years. However, the prevalence and health burden of autism persisted across the lifespan. These findings highlight the need for early detection and lifelong supports, supportive services for autistic individuals. We estimated substantial differences in autism prevalence across the globe, ranging at the region level between about one in every 163 individuals in tropical Latin America to about one in every 65 individuals in the high income Asia Pacific region. And there are many factors contributing to this wide range, including varying exposures to risk factors, cultural variation, behavioral norms, what screening tools and diagnostic tools are being used in those locations, and also how people are responding to these surveys or whether they even choose to, to respond or participate in the survey in the first place. Work is currently ongoing to explore ways to quantify and correct for these differences so that we can paint the most accurate picture of the prevalence of autism globally. Ultimately, we hope the findings from the study drive improvements in healthcare provision and policy planning, ensuring that autistic individuals receive the necessary support at every stage of their life. Beyond the numbers, our study calls for a global response to better meet the diverse needs of autistic people, improving the quality of life worldwide. The persistence of autism's health burden across the lifespan, including adulthood, demands a shift in how health systems respond to autism, emphasising the importance of inclusive and accessible healthcare services. We hope that this study provides a foundation for future research and policy interventions so that the key stakeholders uh, work to ensure that the unique needs of all autistic persons are met in contributing to a better and more inclusive and understanding future.